Comment t'appelles-tu? <rire> je m'appelle Jean. Vauvant, <rire> non, uh, <laughs> I like it when you go on, when you first see the crowd there, that's kind of a special moment because it's always different. Even if you've been on, you've done the sound check, you've seen the venue, but until you go on the stage, you don't really know what it's going to look like or what it's going to feel like when you get on there. And sometimes the people are right there in your face, sometimes they're a bit further away, sometimes it's really full, sometimes it's a big room, but so it's always different. And so just that sort of first feeling is, is is quite quite a moment you know. kind of lucky now with all the crew we can prioritize doing the show so i just try and have a routine where whatever else i've been doing in the daytime i just start getting ready from about one hour before i'll do my vocal warm-up my favorite one is the shoe one Shoo! Shoo! I will usually do a warm up on the bass, just get changed, and just kind of s slowly get into the mindset of just being ready to, to go on and do the show. So the hour before, should try and have no other distractions if possible. What do they all these things do, John? <laughs> All these knobs and switches, what does, that do? what does that do? They just weigh down the headstock, that's what oh. I do on this. One thing that happened when Gavin joined the band is that it helped us all from a, a creative point of view because the kind of boundaries changed. He was going to bring sort of new creative energy to the band, whereas previously that had kind of been Bruce's domain or a lot of that. It kind of blew the process apart in a way that, that we could all we could all do that. That really did make a big difference. I'm able to contribute a lot more during the writing the new songs and coming up with the, the, the new... The, I've gone stumbling over that a little bit. I have a lot more input now in the process of creating the new material. And that makes a big difference as well when you're standing on the stage, when you're, the parts that you're playing are genuinely parts that you that contributed to the album. So it felt like you did a different fiddle that was no. a bit more wacky than usual. But no, no only the sound. I did one in the sound check, uh, but not on the show. The show was... I'll do that tonight. <laughs> I'm going to have to do it now. I'm going to have to come up with something just to keep Baron happy. So Baron's not disappointed. Now I'm worried that you're going to be disappointed. <laughs> yeah, right, I'll find something, Baron. Don't you worry. Right, I think I should lie down on the bus, because then if I think about it for an hour, I might come up with something. It's difficult to go away from home. Um, I've got two little girls and it's difficult to leave. You know, I love doing this job. I don't love the fact that it means I have to be away. That's, that's just, that's the nature of the, of the job. Uh, it doesn't mean I don't enjoy touring, I, you know, but the, there's a bit of a, there's always a bit of a conflict um, when it, because of being away. You have to feel like what you're doing it, it is worthwhile. You know, I can't be away from home to do something that, I don't know, isn't, isn't good enough or doesn't justify the time away. So I think that makes you work hard at it as well because you want to feel like you done what you came to do or what you you're, what you've been working for because otherwise it's just not it's not worth the time away. Yeah.